All right, time for a personal story, personal story time. What I'm about to tell you is true, and I want you to tell me if I handled the situation appropriately because I quite frankly don't know if I did. The other night, I um, had dinner with a friend of mine, and then I happened to be in the neighborhood of a female friend of mine. Now, this, uh, this woman is not my girlfriend, was my girlfriend for about six months, but that was three years ago. Since that time, we have remained friendly. Last time I spoke to her was probably six months ago, and have not really felt like I wanted to call her. But even if I did, I couldn't because I can't find her phone number. And it's one of those things where I didn't have it in my book or I changed my Rolodex. So I don't have her number. I'm coming back from dinner and I pass this former girlfriend's apartment building. And it's evening time, but it's not too late. And she lives with her mom. They have a two-bedroom apartment. So I think, oh, this is probably the perfect time to reconnect. So I stop the SUV. I walk up to the... To the now, I do not have her phone number. I cannot call her. But I can call her on the call box outside the building. I dial it up. It rings. A man answers the phone. I'm not sure at this point if the call box has connected me to the right apartment. So I say, oh, blank. And then I say the name of the former girlfriend who is, who is just a friend. But I won't say her name here. And the man says, yeah. And now I'm caught, right? Because I've said her name. He's heard my voice. Now I'm in. He says, yeah. I say, oh, yeah. Um, is she home? He says, no. I say, oh, all right. I, you know, might you be expecting her? Now, I'm standing at the call box. I'm at the outside. I say, might you be expecting her? To which he says to me, I am her husband. May I ask who this is? I froze. I didn't know what to do. I was speechless. And you know what I did? I said, okay, and I hung up the phone, and I jumped in my car, and I got out of there. Swear to you that happened to me the other night. No, but this is her husband. Now, I'm at the door, and she is just my friend. Again, three years ago, we dated, but she is just my friend. But I'm at the door, and I'm thinking she's going to answer, or her mom's going to answer. I'm just going to say, hey, you know, it's me. I can't find your number. Hi, I'm not a stalker. I haven't talked to, to this woman in six months. Now, the last time I saw her, it was a very friendly, very nice dinner. She went off and got married, and her husband answers the door, not personally, but is on the call box. I left. I didn't tell him who I was. I didn't tell him why I was there. I got the hell out of there. If you Look, if you were involved with someone and they're still your friend, you have an obligation to reach them to tell them that you have gotten married did i do the right thing 1-800-222-kabc that is an honest story ron is in redondo beach on kabc i'm brian whitman hi ron hi brian of course hindsight's always better than foresight uh but you totally blew this situation what am i going to get into a conversation with her husband who i don't know from adam <laughs> uh, at the front door on the call box <laughs> no here's the situation first of all when you heard a male voice there's one of two things that you could have done i know i should have hung up uh, well you say oh you know what i'm sorry i guess i've got the wrong number boom you're out of there you hit the road the second thing is, since you committed yourself, would say... I opened my big, fat mouth. You're right, Ron. When I heard a male voice, but see, I thought maybe it was like her just waking up, because, you know, they're very faint, the speakers on those call boxes. Well, listen, listen, though. Once you got his voice and you established the fact that you knew her, then you sh what you should have said was, you know... Uh, I'm really glad. Sounds like there's a nice man in her life. You're a nice man in her life. Oh, I'm I'm I should say this her. at the call box. I should stand there outside and have this long-winded no, conversation. No, no, you don't have to have a long conversation. You just simply say, he didn't know when you saw her last. You just simply say, you know, I saw her three years ago and whatever and, and lost contact with her. Well, six months was the, the last time I saw her. I thought I'd say hello, and I'm really glad that she's connected. And oh, I know. Have you a know. good day right. and oh. goodbye. But instead, I froze and I, and I left. Yeah, you blew it, Brian. Okay, well, okay, Ron. Uh, by the way, I didn't completely blow it. She's partly culpable in not telling me that she got married. <laughs> so, you know, this is not all on me, as they say on NYPD no, Brian, Blue. No, it's all on you. Yes, no, it's not all on me. This is not all on me. 90%.
I disagree. I think maybe 60-40, 60, 40, 60 oh, her, I'll 40 me. 85%. No way. I reject that. Look, Ron, <laughs> you, date, you date someone. It's been a long time since you dated, but still, you're friends, and, 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 then, and she gets married, and she doesn't even call me to tell me she's married. She is leaving open the possibility of a drop-in. She is leaving open the possibility that I'm going to be in the neighborhood, and I'm going to ring the doorbell because I know where she lives, and I get on the call box, her husband? I didn't even know she was dating anyone. <laughs> Brian, you're in deep doo doo. What now, Ron? I mean, you know, I, I don't know Listen, what to do. The guy has already looked out the window and got your license plate. No, it, where her apartment is, he couldn't. I was so fast. Ron, <laughs> I was in the SUV. There were tire tracks on the street, believe me. I flew out of there. But I have nothing to hide. I mean, I really shouldn't have flown out of there because I don't have anything to hide. You just, you, you blew your cool. You weren't cool enough. You didn't know what to say. And I talk for a living, Ron. <laughs> I should know what to say at all times. Do I send a letter to the... Because I don't have her phone number. Do I send a letter? No. No, not at all. Without a return address. I don't want this guy to know where I live. No, no, no. Well, no, then what do I do? All, because then, then not only is the fact that you showed up one night, as weird as that was, but now you're writing her a letter. Yeah, but it's not weird that I showed up because we were friends. We are friends. It's not weird that I showed up. It's weird that she got married and didn't tell me. Am I the only person who thinks that I am the victim here?